ever wondered how to make your own sushi at home? Welcome to a culinary journey that's as much an art form as it is a delicious meal. Imagine transforming simple staples like rice, fish, and seaweed into an elegant, aesthetically pleasing, and mouth-watering treat. Sushi, a symbol of Japanese culture, is renowned for its balanced flavors and artistic presentation. It's not just food, it's a testament to the beauty of meticulous craftsmanship. Continue watching to learn how to transform simple ingredients into a sushi masterpiece. Creating sushi starts with having the right ingredients and tools. First on our list is sushi rice. This is a special type of short grain rice that becomes sticky when cooked, perfect for holding our sushi together. Next up, we have nori sheets. These thin sheets of dried seaweed wrap our sushi roll adding a unique taste and texture. Moving on, we can't forget about fresh fish, tuna, salmon, or whatever your heart desires as long as it's sushi grade. And let's not overlook the veggies. Crunchy cucumbers, creamy avocados, and fiery radishes are just a few options that can add a pop of color and crunch. To top it all off, a dollop of wasabi for that extra kick. Now onto the tools. A bamboo sushi mat is essential for rolling sushi a sharp knife for precise cuts, and a rice cooker to make your life easier. With these tools and ingredients, you are ready to start your sushi journey. The heart of sushi lies in its rice. This phrase holds true as we delve into the art of preparing sushi rice. It all begins with washing the rice. Rinse it under cold water, gently swishing it around until the water runs clear. This process removes the excess starch and ensures the rice doesn't turn out overly sticky. Next, you'll want to cook the rice. Follow the instructions on your rice packaging, but generally, you'll bring it to a boil. Then, reduce the heat and let it simmer until the water is fully absorbed. While the rice is cooking, prepare your seasoning. A simple blend of rice vinegar, sugar, and salt. When the rice is done, transfer it to a large bowl and gently fold in your seasoning. The key here is to add the seasoning while the rice is hot allowing it to absorb all that savory goodness. Finally, let your seasoned sushi rice cool to room temperature before using it. Remember, well-prepared sushi rice is the foundation of a great sushi roll. Now comes the exciting part, assembling your sushi roll. First, let's grab the bamboo mat and place a sheet of nori on it. The shiny side should be facing down. Now it's time to spread a thin layer of our prepared sushi rice on the nori. Don't press too hard. Gently spread it out, leaving about one inch of nori visible on the side farthest from you. This will help seal the roll later. Next, let's add our fillings. It's all about balance here. Too much and the roll might fall apart. Too little and you'll miss out on those vibrant flavors. So, let's put just the right amount of our chosen fillings in a line about one third of the way up from the edge closest to you. Now the rolling part. This can be a little tricky, but don't worry. Practice makes perfect. Start by lifting the edge of the mat closest to you and roll it over the fillings, applying a little pressure to keep the roll tight. Continue until you reach the end of the nori sheet. Then give it one final squeeze to make sure everything's held together tightly. Finally, let's cut our sushi roll into bite-sized pieces. A sharp, wet knife is your best friend here. Make sure to slice, not push, to keep your sushi roll intact. And voila, you've made your own sushi roll. It's that simple. Congratulations on making your first sushi roll. But how should you enjoy and store them? Here's the fun part. Savoring your sushi is an art in itself. You might like to dip it in soy sauce, but remember, a little goes a long way. Add a touch of wasabi for a spicy kick or balance it with a slice of pickled ginger. Every bite is a harmony of flavors, each enhancing the other. Now, let's talk about storage. Sushi, with its delicate balance of flavors, is best eaten fresh. However, if you must store it, ensure it's kept in a cool place, ideally the refrigerator. But remember, Sushi is not just about rice and fish, it's an experience of freshness. So, try to enjoy it within 24 hours of making it. Now, you are not only a sushi lover, but also a sushi maker. Enjoy your homemade sushi.